We begin with that startling confession from a former NFL star, Redskins running back Clinton Portis, earning more than $40 million on the gridiron, but life after football led to bankruptcy and almost drove him to murder. Jesse Palmer is here with that story. Good morning, Jess. Good morning, Robin. And with more than 2,000 carries over nine seasons, Clinton Portis signed what was then the largest contract for a running back in NFL history. But just a year after his retirement, he found himself drowning in so much financial trouble that he was considering murder. Once a star NFL running back for the Washington Redskins, Clinton Portis rushed for nearly 10,000 yards and straight into a $43 million fortune, which he proudly displayed on MTV's Cribs and the NFL Network. You like a good shower? Here's a good shower. But in a new Sports Illustrated article, Portis revealing that the life of luxury all came crashing down and his fury turning on his former business advisors. Getting so upset, he says he was ready to take the life of one of the men who he says mismanaged his money. Portis went so far as to wait for the man outside a D.C. office building, gun in hand. He thought that they had taken away his ability to provide for his family and felt that they were not paying any consequences for that. He felt for those few nights that uh, he would have to take it into his own hands. The 35-year-old revealing he was talked off the ledge by a friend who told him over the phone to turn his car around, saying, you've already lost but the loss you had sustained by killing someone would be greater. His friend reminded him uh, of his sons, of his family, of the people who loved him, and that he had so much to lose that by taking drastic action, uh, he would lose it all. Edger and James, the former Indianapolis Colts superstar and close friend of Portis, says the 35-year-old was too generous with those around him, plunking down credit cards for strangers and supporting too many friends and family. Portis says the biggest regret is trusting people with my money. He wishes he had put money in the bank instead. Clinton Portis tells ABC News that dark days are behind. The future is looking bright. And Sports Illustrated tells us that Portis is truly content finding happiness and value in family and relationships. His story can be found in the latest issue of Sports Illustrated's Where Are They Now issue, which his news stands today. Robin? And we wish Clinton all the best. We're going to bring an ESPN commentator, good friend Darren Ravel. All right, yes. He made some mistakes financially, we'll, we'll, we'll give you that. But it is so much more than just mishandling finances. You believe that pro athletes like Clinton are targets for crooks. Absolutely, listen, their, their salaries are public, mm -hmm. right? So that's out there. Uh, we know that they're coming from backgrounds where they're not coming from money and they don't have the financial education. So people are gonna go after them and say, this is a way to get money quick. And unfortunately, these stories are happening over and over again. We keep telling these stories mm -hmm. and yet, People don't learn. Until it's your own situation, right. you don't learn. I, I'm not even going to begin to list the many athletes and the many different sports leagues. What can the leagues, can they do anything? Should they be doing more to help their well, athletes? Well, right now I'd say they need to back off because, and this is a weird thing, the NFL has an NFL financial advisor program. That's through the union. And the whole idea about this was let's help them and say these are the financial advisors that we approve through our program. The problem is that some some of these financial advisors have been the same guys that are part of this fraud. So they say, okay, let's look at the list of people who are approved by the NFLPA, by the Players Union, and then those guys are using that as an opportunity. Maybe they've never done fraud before, right. but now they're using it as an opportunity to say, hey, we're approved, and now the players are going to kind of, there's the affirmation there. So I think it's very tough. I think the players have to say, never sign over power of attorney where someone can write a check for you. You know, right. there's, there's got to be some steps. They've got to do a better job. And we have to understand the, the average playing career in professional sports is very in, short. In NFL, it's three years. Listen, Clinton Portis got, what, nine years. He got a $17 million contract, and yet he still looked at his bank account one day and saw $150. Yeah, but also the athletes have to take some of the responsibility Absolutely. as well. Cannot just put the blame elsewhere. Absolutely. You look, you, you look at just how he, how he spent on things. Yeah. He had four hundred thousand dollars in gambling debts when he filed for bankruptcy all right Darren good you to see it. you thank you okay.